I'm going to show you how to get the Great Jars Arsenal Talisman. This talisman will vastly raise your maximum equip load. It is the best version of these types of talismans in the entire game. In order to get this talisman, you're going to have to go to the gigantic jar enemy over by this broken Colosseum area. But in order to get here, you can't get here from Kayla normally. Well, sort of. There's actually a vine you can jump up like down in this ravine. If you're really, really good at parkour, you can do that. My friend found some other way down, but I never asked him where. But the way you're supposed to get to it is the way I'll show you, because it's actually kind of the easiest for anyone who's not super, super good at parkour in this game, which is to come up from the deep Siofra well. In order to go there, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this is go to Redman Castle in order to go fight Radon, fight Radon, and then you'll go over to Fort Height West, and there'll be a hole in the ground that'll take you down into Nokron, the Eternal City. I don't have the map for it, though. And then once you get through Nokron Eternal City, just very shortly through it, you'll find yourself at a boss that is the Mimic Tier. And this boss, you can just take all your armor off and take your weapon off. And then enter the boss room, and then the boss will have nothing because it just mimics you. And then from here, you're going to head over to the northeast like this. And once you get up here, you can summon your horse. And the Sofra well, the place we're trying to go, is actually off in the distance down there. You can't really see it with all the columns and stuff. But anyway, you're going to head over here, and you're trying to make your way over to this area on the left. And from there, you'll be able to go down and do some parkour. <laughs> no matter which way you do this, there's going to be some kind of parkour. But this one's a lot easier than getting up the vines. Maybe I should show the way to do the vines too, but maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, we get to here, and you go down like this. And then there's a million different ways you can get down, but I like going down right here. And then you can just drop down onto this. And then you can follow the ledge like this. And then you can try to get down over here. And then from here, you can get on this and then drop here and then drop onto here. And then drop down to here. And then go over to here, and then there's a few different ways down. And if you die here, there's actually a stake of Marika, so it's not a big deal. So you can go onto this, you can walk off onto this, and then you can drop down onto that. And now you're down to here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to head over this way. We're actually almost done already. You're going to head over this way down towards this, like, um, this stream, this creek, whatever you want to call it. You're going to cross over this to the north. And then over here is a little bit more parkour, but nothing too, not nearly as bad as the last one. So you're going to go here, jump over to that, and now you're all clear. You're going to go over here, and there's actually a golden seed here if you want it, if you've never been here before. Now you're going to cross this scary little divide right here. And then you're going to go over this way to the northeast. And there'll be some archers that shoot magic arrows at you, so be wary of that. You can use the tree to block the line of sight if you want. And then you can get up to here, and then up here. And then there's a grace right here that you probably want to grab. And you could rest that in order to get these guys to stop shooting at you. Then you'll head over here, and there is this staircase that goes up like this. And up at the top of this is one of these, the stone sword key thing. You'll need two stone sword keys in order to activate it. Once you've used two stone sword keys, this is just an elevator. And this elevator will take you up for like 40 seconds straight, which will pop you out. I can't open my map actually, but it'll pop you out at that point I showed you, which was the deep seal for a well in Kaled. All right, so I skipped that, but it'll pop you out right here. Deep seal for a well, it's open Kaled. You'll be down in this ravine. You will go to the west through the ravine that way. There'll be giant archer golems and stuff, and you're gonna make your way up to here where the great jar is. Once you make your way to the Great Jar, going through the ravine all the way up through here past the Magic Archer guys, you'll talk to this guy, which I've already done, and it'll say dot dot dot. Then these three signs will appear, and you will go up to one of the red signs, and you will summon a Knight of the Great Jar. And you have to beat all of these summons, and then after that, you will be able to get the Talisman. I'm going to use the Invincible Shield build for this, even though this guy uses Bleed. Could be dangerous. Now for the third one, it's gonna be more of the same. And there goes the third duelist of the Great Jar. He's died. Now we talk to the Great Jar. He says dot dot dot, and he gives me the Great Jar's arsenal. So that's all it takes. The hardest part is honestly just getting to the jar. Uh, well, I don't know. The duel might be hard depending on what equipment you have. Me with the OP Invincible Shield build, it was 
a walk in the park for sure. But anyway, the um, talisman that we got is the Great Jars Arsenal. Vastly raises maximum equip load. Apparently it can't be equipped with the Arsenal charm. So I'm testing right now. I was told that it could, but I guess it can't. It's because they both say Arsenal. They're the same type of thing. So either way, that's the better version. That is the Great Jars Arsenal. And that is how to get that one. It'll vastly increase your equip load. I don't know if it scales based off your current or not. But in my case, it gives... What is that? That's like almost 20. 19 point something. 19 point whatever. So basically 20 in my case. Um, equip load. So pretty cool amulet. Definitely one that you should get if you need extra equip load. Honestly, one of the best amulets in Elden Ring. Or talismans in Elden Ring. 